So today's video is about vlogging. How to's for vlogging, or as I like to think of it, vlogging 101. I have been blessed beyond all measures recently and I have been able to meet so many of you guys. I recently went to Playlist and the number one question I received was, how do you vlog? Do you have advice for vlogging? Any tips for new vloggers? Vlog, 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 vlog. So I am dedicating this entire video to vloggers, to people who want to vlog. This is my advice for vlogging. There is a common misconception that vlogging is easy. That is wrong. That is so wrong. Vlogging's not easy. I take that back. Vlogging is as easy as you make it. There are people like me that vlog little clippets every day throughout the week and kind of upload this one vlog. I like the way I do it because it kind of gives me more time to do other things throughout the day other than vlogging. And then there's other people that vlog daily. They're called daily vloggers and they literally film, edit, and upload their vlogs every single day. And that is work, people. That is work. But I love vlogging and I highly encourage you guys to vlog. It gets me up out of bed and out of the house every single day. So if you haven't already, go subscribe. Ding, 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 ding. Okay, let's get into the tips. Let's get into the vlogging tips for what you need to vlog. The first thing you need to vlog is a vlog camera. Obviously. This is probably the most common vlog camera I have seen ever. I think pretty much every YouTuber has the Canon G7X because um, it's just awesome. It's amazing, it is compact, it's really small so I can fit this in my pocket, in my purse, in my backpack. It's very user friendly so it doesn't take a lot of effort to just turn it on and press record. It's not like a huge DSLR like I'm filming with right now um, where it takes a lot of effort to pull it out, turn it on. If you are subscribed to my vlog channel then you know that I recently got my vlog camera stolen from me while I was on my way to Playlist. I called, I think, every Best Buy in Orlando trying to find one that had the Canon G7X in stock, but no. So, ha, I am the new proud owner of this Sony camera, which is very comparable to the Canon G7X. This is a very good camera. It works really well. It also has this really cool filter that really just like softens your skin, which is really nice, especially in the mornings, if you know what I mean. My G7X doesn't have that, so that's a little bit of a bummer. I really did enjoy that. However, this is very bumpy. If you want any slow-mo clips, if you want some nice B-roll, if you want to show yourself walking, just walking with the scene it's gonna look terrible. So if I'm gonna be honest, I really don't think this is a good vlogging camera because vlogging requires a lot of movement and this just did not capture the image as well as my G7X. Something that is crucial to vlogging is the flip screen. Bam, bam, bam. The flip screen allows you to film yourself while being able to look at yourself, making sure you're in focus, making sure you have everything in the background that's supposed to be in the background. If that's not there, you're literally just holding it like this, hoping that it's in focus. That's the worst. Now the most common and most embarrassing thing that happens with flip screens is people, especially new vloggers, tend to look at themselves in the screen instead of the lens. It ends up being something like this, where they're constantly just like fixing their hair, touching up their makeup. It's awkward, we've all done it when we first started. I'm here to stop you from doing that. Don't be that person. We need to look here, not here. Now depending on how extreme of a vlogger you are, you may or may not want an external mic. External mics are awesome. It takes your audio to the next level. This mic is really good. It's in a terrible spot. A lot of new vloggers tend to cover it by accident wanting to vlog this way. You will quickly learn that you have to vlog like this. I personally don't have an external microphone um, for the simple reason that I think it's bulky, and I like the simplicity of this. Now something I would like to recommend that I just recently became a fan of, literally this past weekend I became a diehard fan of this, it is the neck strap. I have missed out on so many awesome shots because I simply did not have my vlog camera available. It was like in my backpack or in my purse or not here. The beauty of the neck strap is that it keeps the camera right in front of you. Now I know I look like a ridiculous tourist, um, so I wouldn't necessarily wear the neck strap every single day, but just wear the neck strap because it keeps the camera in front of you. Something happens, you pick it up, you press record, you get the shot, and then you're done. And if you're a real vlogger, you don't care about how you look anyways because we're used to people laughing at us. Ooh. Ooh, that's my hair. 
Another thing a lot of people like to keep on hand is a tripod, and these have gotten so cool lately, like so cool. They have bendy ones, they have straight leg ones, they're shorter. It's really cool because no matter where you go, you have a steady surface to set your camera and like not have to hold it out like this all the time. I don't have a little tripod, again, it's just one more thing that I have to carry. I have used one and it is really helpful for certain things, so if you think that would help you out, whatever floats your boat. Now let's get into the actual vlogging part. Consistency is key to life, to living, and especially to vlogging. Something that you have to get used to if you're going to be a vlogger is people staring at you. The second you go out in public by yourself and you're trying to vlog, your confidence level goes from a 10 to like a two. So that is something you're gonna have to get used to if you wanna be a vlogger. Don't look them in the eye, don't do that to yourself, that makes it worse. Pretend they're not there. I can't tell you how many times I've been vlogging in public like this and I've heard people laugh at me, people think I'm taking selfies and they'll like photobomb me every time. Every single time. So there are travel vloggers, there's daily vloggers, there's all kinds of vloggers, and I think we all struggle with this one thing, and it's trying to come up with a theme every single time. Especially for daily vloggers, coming up with a theme for that vlog every single day, that is hard, that is hard to do. Usually, I don't even know what the theme is until I'm sitting down editing and I'm like, oh, this is what I'll title it. So when you do see that thing that's going to become the theme of your vlog, be sure that you think of a thumbnail option for the vlog. It's a real bummer, but no matter how good your vlog is, it's not going to do well if it doesn't have a thumbnail that accurately represents the vlog. That was a lot of words, I hope you caught that. So I really hope that this video was helpful for you guys. If you are planning on starting a vlog channel, I fully support you, you can totally do this. Use my guidelines, definitely make a list of all the vloggers you like and use them as examples, as inspiration for how you want to vlog, and you got this, you totally got this.